What's up party people? My name is Daryl Wilson and today in this video I'll be showing you how you can integrate Zoom onto your WordPress website. It's really simple actually. Let's just dive into it. Okay, so let me give you a demonstration of how this plugin works. I'll first click on my Zoom meetings and here the Zoom meetings will display. So you can set the meetings to be at a specific time or you can make them live right away. For the meeting status, you can see that the meeting is currently in progress. We have the time it started, the time zone, the duration. Your users can actually join via the Zoom app and they can also join via the web browser. So I will go ahead and join via the web browser. I will type my name, Daryl Wilson, and select join. And ta-da, now I am in a Zoom meeting with two other participants. You can see there's two people here in this group with me. So I'll show you how you can quickly set this up on your WordPress website. Okay, so first let's go ahead and install the free plugin. So let's go to our dashboard. We'll go to plugins and click on add new. Next, under the search plugins, I'll type in Zoom. I think a lot of people now are using Zoom because of the whole coronavirus thing. A lot of corporations in the United States are all using Zoom. Their stock has gone up a lot and I, I do own Zoom stock. So uh, on the left side, you'll see Zoom conferencing with Zoom. You'll click on install now. And then you'll click on activate. All right, cool. So we now installed the Zoom plugin. On the left side, you'll see Zoom meeting, but under settings, you'll click on settings. So this is where we're going to enter in our API key in order to connect our website with Zoom. So open up a new browser and you're gonna to go to a URL as zoom.us-developer. Okay, and then press on enter. And it'll bring you to this page right here. The first thing you'll do is click on develop and you'll click on build app. The app that you want is called JWT you can click on create. Now I already have one, so I will click on view here. And first you'll enter in some basic information about the application. So you can put the app name, the company name, and any other information that you want. The links are optional. You do not have to put any of this and you can even upload your own little image. You can see me right there. When I was, I was that was like five years, no, I was like eight years ago actually. So, uh, but on the bottom, you'll click on continue. Next, you'll see your API key and your API secret key. But before we copy this, just click on continue, uh, continue again, and you'll want to go ahead and make sure the app is activated. So once the app is fully activated, you'll go back to your app credentials and we can copy this API key and then we'll go ahead and paste it right here. And you'll go over here and take the API secret, yada, yada, yada. I'm sure you've done all this before and paste it there. Once you're done, you'll scroll to the bottom and click on save changes. Now you can always test the API to see if it's working by scrolling to the bottom and clicking on check API connection. It says API connection is good, please refresh. Okay. Now that we have the API settings integrated, we can now create a Zoom meeting. So on the left side, you'll see add new, click on add new. So here you'll give your meeting a name. So what is the name of your meeting? I'll do something like, um, WordPress friends with Daryl. On the bottom, you'll select the meeting host. Now here you can put some description about the meeting if you choose to do that. Um, here you can enter in some start date, so you can put the time and the date. And make sure you actually put the correct time zone because the meetings will actually uh, correspond with whatever time zone it's currently um, you're currently on. So I'm gonna select the meeting in the past because I want to show you how this works right now. You can also have a password set. So here are some various options that you can have with Zoom. So you can join meeting before a host starts the meeting. You can start the video when the host joins, start the video when other people join and you can mute everybody. So once you have set all your settings, you'll click on publish. All right, cool. Next, you'll take this short code and now we will paste this short code on our website. So I'll go to visit sites. I'll go to my Zoom meeting section and I will edit page. Now, of course, you can use uh, any page builder. You can even use the default Gutenberg just to paste the short code. Once that's in, you'll click on updates. Now that we actually pasted the Zoom meeting inside of the website, we now need to start the meeting. So let's go to Zoom meetings and click on all meetings this time. 
So here is a list of all of the meetings that you have. So the one I have is WordPress friends with Daryl and I will click on start the meeting. Now, before I do that, if you have the application on your website, you might want to click on start meeting. This will start the application on your uh, computer. You can join the meeting or you can start via browser if you do not have Zoom on your computer. Now, I already do have Zoom on my computer, so I will click on start meeting. So I'm going to join this video call, so I'll click on join with computer audio and I can even start the video if I want to do that. And here I am. So I am now in the meeting. Pretty cool, right? So let's go, uh, let's go back to our uh, website. So now that the meeting's active, people can actively join the meeting, whoever comes to our website. So let's do that. I'm gonna go to a new browser and just join the meeting like I'm just some random person. Now remember, you can always apply a password if you don't want random people joining your Zoom meetings. So here I am as a new user, I will click on Zoom meetings. And here's the meeting, WordPress friends with Daryl. The meeting is currently in progress and I can join via browser. So I'll click on join. I will put in my name, Daryl, and click on join. So now that we're trying to join the meeting, the host will be notified someone's trying to join the meeting. So let's go ahead and let them in. So Daryl has entered the waiting room for this meeting. I will admit them and that's it. So now we have the participants in the room and now we have a full conversation with the people um, from our website. So that's how you integrate Zoom onto your WordPress website and that's pretty much it. We are all done. If you guys have any other questions, feel free to let me know in the comments below. Uh, Zoom is a very popular new application. Well, it's not new, but uh, everyone's using it now because of the coronavirus. It's free. It's a lot better than Skype and you can have tons of people in your meeting. So I hope this video is helpful. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up. My name is Daryl Wilson and I will see all of you party people in the next video, guys. Take it easy.